A group of friends use cursed tarot cards and get haunted by different supernatural demons. The movie opens with seven friends hanging out. First up is Haley, who's into astrology, then her boyfriend Grant, Paige, and her girlfriend Elise. Then there is Paxton the Goof, along with Lucas, and finally Madeline. They are celebrating Elise's birthday, and Paige has booked a mansion for them. Eventually, they run out of alcohol, but their mansion is in a remote area, so everyone starts searching for it. There's no sign of alcohol, but they find the basement door locked with a keep out sign. They break into the basement and only find old artifacts, meaning the owner was a collector. They snoop around and find an old box, including tarot cards. The cards are ancient and creepy, so everyone begs Haley to read their horoscopes. Haley warns them that it's bad luck to use someone else's cards, but they proceed anyway. First up is the birthday girl, Elise. Haley reveals in her horoscope that she is curious by nature, but that curiosity will lead to trouble. Furthermore, the card she gets is of the High Priestess, who can cause her to suffer a crushing blow while she's on a ladder towards success. Next up is Madeline. Madeline's card is the Hangman. Her horoscope reads that she'll be hanged in a situation, but she should not run away from it because some technologies might fail her. Haley calls Paxton, but he goes to the bathroom instead. Paige steps up, and her card is of the Magician. Her horoscope reads that she'll be deceived by the Magician and feel like being pulled in two different directions. Meanwhile, Paxton notices the front door slamming due to the wind. He goes to close the door, but notices a shadow figure with glowing eyes. Suddenly, the lights turn on, and there's no one. Paxton returns and participates in the horoscope reading. He gets the clown card, and his horoscope states he will make rash decisions and will end up in a situation where he feels boxed in. If one door closes, another will open for him. Paxton feels concerned, but Haley mentions that he will end up helping his friends in an unexpected way. Now, it's Lucas's turn. His card turns out to be the Hermit, which means he needs to watch where he's headed. His financial position will change soon as well, but Lucas is a rule breaker, and the Hermit can lead him down the wrong track. Everyone had their turn except Grant, so he finally comes forward. His card turns out to be the Devil. His horoscope reveals he is ruining his relationships and he will have to face his demons. Grant storms off because he thinks horoscope reading is illogical. At last, Haley reads her own horoscope, and it's the same as usual for her. Love leads her to death. In the morning, the gang packs their stuff and drives back to their homes. The boys' gang stop at a gas station where Lucas wins a $700 lottery, just like his horoscope predicted. At night, everyone reaches home and Elise returns to her hostel. After taking a bath, she sees a ladder in her hall. She pushes the ladder back up and goes to her room. She talks with Paige, but suddenly hears a loud bang on her door. She opens the door to check it out and sees that the ladder is back on the ground again. Elise approaches the ladder without knowing someone is behind her, and when she turns on the lights, no one is there. She hears a girl giggling and running above, so she thinks her friends are pranking her. She climbs the ladder, hoping to find her friends, but witnesses the High Priestess. She screams at Elise, causing her to fall from the ladder. The High Priestess uses the ladder and continuously crushes it on Elise's back, ending her life, just like her horoscope mentioned. The next day, Elise's death makes the news. The entire gang is in shock, especially Paige. No one suspects the cards were behind it and considers it an accident. Everyone heads out, but Haley decides to stay back with Paige to look after her. She consoles Paige and tells her about her mother, who died when she was young. Haley reveals that's why she got into astrology because her mother was sick, and she would do card readings for her mother every time they showed the death of her mother. On the other hand, Lucas drops Madeline at her place. They both had feelings for each other, but were worried due to Elise's passing. Lucas heads home, but the hermit follows him. He heads to the subway station and notices the hermit standing with a lantern. Suddenly, darkness starts spreading everywhere in the station, and Lucas gets cornered. The hermit attacks Lucas, but he escapes from the restricted area. He finds abandoned tracks and buses and stumbles upon a newspaper, claiming Lucas will die today. The readings were coming true now, and the hermit forces Lucas to take the wrong step, and he gets crushed by a nearby train. The next morning, the gang is informed about Lucas's death by the cops. They worry that, suspiciously, 
two of their friends have suddenly passed away, but the cops mention there's no evidence of foul play. They all head home and discuss their situation. Paxton thinks they are being assassinated. Madeline thinks it's a coincidence, but Haley figures out that the tarot card readings are coming true. Grant doesn't believe it, but the girls all agree. They search the internet for experts and come across a woman named Alma Astrum, who is an astrologist and expert in horoscopes. They find her number and call her, but get no answer, so they find her address and drive right away. Three hours later, they arrive at her place. Alma doesn't let them in, but Haley convinces her when she mentions the tarot cards might take their lives. Alma lets them in and reveals that those tarot cards are cursed. They've caused deaths before in 1952 in Mexico, in Woodstock in 1969, and in London in 1988. Only one person survived in 1988, and it was Alma herself. Alma believes that the only reason she survived is because she didn't read her horoscope. When Alma realized it was the cards that were responsible for her friend's deaths, she was too late because the cards were sold off to an antiquities dealer 15 years ago. Alma further explains the origin of these cards. She reveals that in Hungary, in 1798, a count and his wife were expecting a child. He brings in his personal astrologist to read his horoscope. The astrologist reveals that his wife and child will die during childbirth. The count becomes furious and forces the astrologist to change the result, but each time the outcome was death. Hence, the count kicked the astrologist and her daughter out of the kingdom. When the readings come true and the count's wife and child die together, he accuses the astrologist of being a witch. The mob hunts her down and hangs up her daughter. The astrologist seeks revenge and creates the tarot cards. She reads the count's reading and performs a dark ritual. She takes her life and bounds her soul to the cards. The readings come true and the count dies exactly as predicted by his horoscope. The cards were curses, and whoever reads them dies exactly like that. Now the gang realizes they have to destroy the card, so they all head for the mansion. On their way to a bridge, their car stops working, fulfilling Madeline's reading. The hangman draws a hanged man on the window and tells her to run, so Madeline sprints even though she wasn't supposed to. The hangman arrives with a rope and chases Madeline on the bridge, and soon he catches her. He hangs her up as Haley fails to save her. They all ditch their rides and run away. Paxton chickens out and disagrees with returning to the mansion, but this indicates his readings, which considered him a fool and to make impulsive decisions. Paige, Haley, and Grant head towards the mansion while Paxton returns to his hostel. On his way back, he sees a clown standing across the street. The clown twists himself upside down, which freaks out Paxton. He enters the elevator and reaches the top floor where he sees the clown. The elevator buttons start malfunctioning as the elevator door keeps closing and opening, and each time the clown moves closer and closer to Paxton, the elevator lights turn red as the clown enters the elevator by piercing through the roof. He jumps Paxton, and the scene shifts towards the mansion. Haley, Paige, and Grant find the tarot cards and burn them, but they don't burn. So, they decide to call Alma. Alma arrives and performs a ritual to speak to the astrologist. The soul of the astrologist joins them but turns the tables. She starts reading Alma's horoscope, which holds six swords for her, so she attacks her and murders her with six swords stabbed in her back. The remaining three run for their lives, but Paige gets deceived by the magician. She thinks she's hearing Elise calling for help, but it's just a trick. Paige comes across the magician and his freaky audience, so she runs away and hides in a suitcase, but this is her horoscope, where she will be deceived and pulled in two directions. So the magician takes the saw and sews the suitcase in half, butchering Paige. On the other hand, Grant and Haley are hiding in a room from the devil, who's chasing Grant. Haley realizes they can stop the astrologist by reading her horoscope, but the demons catch up with them and drag Grant out of the window. The devil turns into death and chases Haley as she runs away from him in the entire mansion. She manages to hide from death for a moment, but eventually he catches her. Grant returns and saves Haley by smacking death with a rod and telling her to read the horoscope. The devil returns and attacks Grant as Haley sets out the cards and reads the horoscope. Multiple demons drag Grant towards hell as his horoscope mentioned facing demons. The astrologist arrives and chokes Haley, but Haley had read her cards, 
which revealed death for the astrologist. The reading becomes true, and the astrologist is destroyed by her own curse. Haley and Grant make it out of the mansion and hit the road. A car approaches them, and it's Paxton who made it out alive, like his reading, which mentioned he'd rescue his friends in an unexpected way. Paxton reveals that his roommate Todd entered the elevator, and the clown just disappeared. Here, the movie ends. Thank you for being a part of Black's Movie Recaps. If these tales of mystery and intrigue sent shivers down your spine, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Black's Movie Recap for more bone-chilling narratives. Stay tuned, and until next time, stay captivated.